So far, we've only seen situations where our variables can represent a single number. However, a lot of times in real life, a wide range of values is appropriate. For example, suppose you were to go to the grocery store with a $70 budget for groceries. How much can you spend? Well, if you spend $30, that's okay. You didn't spend the whole $70, but you didn't go over budget. If you spend $40, that's okay. If you spend, say, $67, that's okay. Spending the whole $70, still okay. But if you spend, say, $75, that's not okay. You went over budget. In situations like this, Instead of using an equation to describe the value the variable can take, we use what's called an inequality. In order to be within your budget, your spending has to satisfy the inequality, x is less than or equal to 70, where x represents the amount that you spend on groceries. Now, there are several different symbols for inequalities. And I'm just going to list them and tell you what they're called, first of all. We have two of these less than family of symbols. Just less than means that the number on the left has to be strictly smaller than the number on the right. Whereas less than or equal to means that it can also be the same. In our grocery budget example, we used less than or equal because it's okay to spend our whole budget. If it were not okay to spend the whole budget, we would use strictly less than. Greater than is exactly the opposite. If we have just this greater than symbol, then the number on the left has to be larger. If we have greater than or equal to, it can also be the same. Now, these are the same sorts of symbols as equals and does not equal. All of these symbols represent a relationship between expressions. So for instance, when we say 3x plus 5 is greater than or equal to 7x minus 1, what we're saying is the number described by 3x plus 5 is greater than or equal to the number described by 7x minus 1. Like an equation, this gives a restriction on what values x might have. For example, if x is 0, well, 3 times 0 plus 5 is 5. 7 times 0 minus 1 is negative 1. And 5 is, in fact, greater than or equal to negative 1. Therefore, x equals 0 makes the inequality true. x equals 0 is a solution to the inequality. On the other hand, if x equals 10, then the expression on the left is 35 and the expression on the right is 69. The statement 35 is greater than or equal to 69 is false. So x equals 10 makes the inequality false. So x equals 10 is not a solution. Like an equation, an inequality restricts what values x might have. Unlike an equation, an inequality will typically have many solutions, and also many values that are not solutions. To continue with this example, x equals negative 2 is a solution, since 3 times negative 2 plus 5 is in fact greater than or equal to 7 times negative 2 minus 1. That is, 
negative 1 is greater than or equal to negative 15. On the other hand, x equals 2 is not a solution since 3 times 2 plus 5 greater than or equal to 7 times 2 minus 1 is false. That is 11 greater than or equal to 13 is not true. Just like an equals sign, we can put a slash through an inequality to mean that it's not true. To see whether a given number is or is not a solution to an inequality, we just plug that number in and we see whether or not the inequality is true.